Hello Aquarius, I am Ulrich, I am a Lenormand card reader, and today we will do your love card reading for the sign of Aquarius for the month of December. But before we start, I want to wish you all happy holidays. Uh, I hope you stay in very good health. Uh, you also have financial prosperity for the year to come. And of course, I want you that your lover loves you. And if you didn't find the love of your life, I'm sure soon you will. Anyway, coming back to the card reading, as always, we will do four card readings for the sign of um, Aquarius for the month of December. And these are based on the natural elements in your astrological chart or for some of you on your time of birth. These basic elements are air, earth, water, and fire. Now, the four objects that you always see on my table are directly connected to those elements. So you choose or you pick one that you think relates most to your personality or you choose one you feel most comfortable with. This object of your choice, it should or it will relate the best to your current love situation. However, if the related object and the video does not match your first choice, please check out the other videos that are directly connected in the same session. I'm sure one of the four will fit you. Anyway, uh, the matches represent the fire element, the stone represents the earth element, the aerosol sprayer represents the air element, and the shell represents the water element. I also want to mention, if you have questions, you can always post them in the comments below. And of course, if I have time, I will reply on that. Anyway, uh, Aquarius, here we go for your love card reading for the month of December 2021. Hello Aquarius and welcome to the Shell or the Water Group for your short love card reading with three cards with the triplet here. As the first card here, we see the moon. Uh, the moon is the card of emotions, in, uh, emotions, uh, creativity, also our work. Um, also like-mindedness is, uh, is connected to the moon and also the people. So here we see a connected here uh, or combined here with the heart. Uh, this gives very strong emotions. Also, there's a, a feeling of fulfillment uh, with the partner here. Uh, there's kindness also uh, towards the partner from each other. Probably one of the both, uh, both partners is very caring, very giving. Uh, sometimes with the bear, uh, this can mean that the partner is overprotective, overcaring. And sometimes uh, with some of you here, uh, it means that the partner is overbearing, overcaring, and maybe uh, sometimes a little bit too dominant here. Anyway, this combination here, the first two cards also, it points that you have a strong love for your work, for creativity. Uh, your work has a very big influence on you. Um, <laughs> maybe financially you are very well off in your work because the bear also sometimes means money or the work has a very big important uh, relationship in your life it's very important for you but mostly this points also that we are well paid this is what we are seeing here anyway um if we had certain doubts in our love life for this lover, uh, this could be unnecessary. Maybe it's time to take the next, next step. If you feel uh, very much connected, also the mind is the same with the partner. Anyway, uh, on the work front, as I said, there are deep connections here with the heart. There's a, a passion towards our work. Uh, we like to do our work. Probably we are also quite uh, creative or we have abilities here to be very creative as, as, of our work here also. Uh, possibly also it's uh, possible with this combination that our work, um, it has like a, a psychological an angle uh, because the moon sometimes is the mind. So it could mean that we are uh, psychologically very strong connected to uh, our work. And also here we see with this combination, there's a very strong connection to the mother or one of the parental figures here. This is what we are seeing here. Or maybe the mother has a very strong relationship on this feeling, or maybe she wants to have a say in the matter. But sometimes this, of course, is an, uh, a difficult angle um, to approach we need to um, eventually make our own decisions. Anyway, uh, here we see that uh, we have a heart for our work. Our uh, lover is very soulful to us. Um, sometimes the moon can also 
uh, be fierce. So it's possible uh, because this passion is so deep and so big, you are a little bit scared. It's like we are scared here because we didn't experience this kind of feelings before. Uh, there's a, like a big romanticization here uh, with the love uh, or the lover here. This is what we are seeing here. Uh, even if we would be in difficult situation, we can always find comfort with this partner. This far partner is very um, comfortable, comforting to us. Also, there's a lot of empathy. Uh, if we have quiet moments, it's easy for us to be together here with our lover. Then we have the heart and the bear. As I said, the bear is a big animal. Uh, he's very strong. This is a strong love, an important love. This is an important lover that is coming into our life here. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this combination. There's compassion, there's protection. Uh, sometimes for some men, they could feel that this partner is like their mother, very protective. They, they could see certain combinations or certain uh, similarities here with the mother. Or as I said, the mother could have a very uh, big influence on this relationship, but sometimes this is dubious. Uh, here we see here also that there is a motherly love. This is a powerful connection that we have to each other. We experience here that compassion also is power. Uh, but it's possible also that our uh, partner, he has a loving, a lot of um, leadership abilities because here or maybe he is a leader in his work somehow because this is the people and this is that we lead or we manage people so it's possible that our uh, partner has a leading position in the work this is what we are seeing here but also we see here that we can uh, probably rely financially on our partner he's a protective lover but also a, pro a financial provider here and maybe this is what uh, makes this partner also uh, protective. Maybe we think on the long run, he's a good uh, father, maybe a good mother here for protecting her children. Sometimes with the bear, we also see jealousy. Uh, and this jealousy, it could uh, fluctuate uh, because the moon is a moody card. And maybe sometimes um, there's a little bit of insecurity, even though this is a very stable, uh, strong combination, uh, the partner could sometimes be a little bit jealous here. This is, or one of the boat partners could be a little bit jealous here. Especially also the bear likes to possess things. He likes to take care of himself. And there could be some possession here that we are seeing here. Also what we could uh, see here is that we uh, keep in good shape because the bear is strong. Sometimes he likes to work out and he likes to uh, be good looking for the people, for himself. Uh, this is what, or for herself. This is what we are seeing here. Also with this combination, we need to be careful if we are very settled in this relationship that we notice uh, if we put ourselves on our scale that we are gaining weight because we are very relaxed and it's possible here because we gain weight we decide to work more out here uh, for the partner so we keep uh, looking good here this is what we are seeing here in another way this is a totally different uh, angle it's possible in your workplace you fall in love it's possible that you fall in love with your manager with a teacher uh, this is possible also because the bear is a manager a teacher a boss somebody in charge here this is what we see here and it's possible also that this person is a little bit guiding you he is a guide for you. He teaches you things and the teaching and you feel that this is all very well meant. And you develop more here than an affection here. You develop a kind of love with this person. Anyway, this is a very uh, major influence uh, on your relationship with these cards. Then we're going to mirror the cards. We're going to mirror the moon and the bear. We're going to mirror them now. Uh, here we see that... Um, Probably we have high expectations of this lover. Uh, maybe our lover is high placed. As I said here, we see this here again. Maybe the lover has a lot of appreciation from the people around, uh, around him or her. Um, there's also the partners here. They encourage each other on the field of work or in the creative field. If they have a certain job, they will always support each other here. Um, also, we see that our partner expects, or we expect from the partner to upgrade the standards. He wants to move, he or she wants us to move forward and both the couple want to move forward as a whole. Uh, maybe in the in, there is a next stage coming here also. Uh, it's possible also with this combination there, we are dominated by our feelings. They are overwhelming for us. We think also about financial uh, 
stability. Maybe we work hard for getting a pay raise because we want this uh, relationship to become stable. Maybe we're thinking about later on in the relationship, it's already in our mind for becoming a mother or a father. This is what we are seeing here and we want to protect our family as a general thing here. There's a strong thinking here that we are seeing here. Uh, this could also point, uh, if you have a very busy job, that you go uh, for keeping your weight in balance at the, uh, in the evening or late at night in the gym for working out. This is what we are seeing here also with this combination. Maybe you have a busy job and uh, your only time that you can work out or do, that you can practice uh, for something is in the evening. Uh, anyway, there's, uh, we have strong emotional needs towards each other in another way. It could be that our uh, partner or the person that we are in love with is a kind of a therapist or he has some, um, he is a teacher related to the mind, to psychology. Uh, this is what we are seeing here. Anyway, this person has a lot of, uh, could have a lot of experience uh, in emotions, in feelings, or he experienced a lot of emotions in feelings himself uh, or herself. This is what we are seeing here. Anyway, there's a very profound, big influence here on each other here. Uh, there's also a kind of possessiveness um, over fear. Maybe we are scared for losing this partner. Maybe we are scared that uh, we are so much in love that this partner would leave us. Uh, and then we, we try to protect ourselves here uh, from this leaving. We are a little bit possessive because we don't want this partner to go. But of course, we need to be careful with this kind of dominance here that it don't turn out in a different way or not the way that we anticipated. Anyway, um, as, um, for the water group for Aquarius, this is all. I hope you get a little bit wiser out of this short love card reading. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. If this card reading don't fit your role, please check the other three card re readings that are directly connected to it. Um, if you want more information about your love life or your life in general, you can check out my channel. We do nine card readings, which are very much in depth. We do each month for your sign, for the sign of Aquarius. Anyway, I want to thank you for your time and I'm sure we see each other in my extended videos. Thank you and bye bye for now. Hello Aquarius and welcome to the aerosol or the air group for your triplet, your three card readings for your love life. Um, as the first card here, we see the dog. The dog is the card of friendship combined with the tree. Regarding our love life, this gives more than a lover. This gives also a deep friendship. Um, this friendship uh, grows into a relationship in a deep relationship. Uh, we will see that it's very founded. Um, there are bridges between the two partners. They keep in good balance here. This is what we are seeing here. Um, it could also point that our, our partner or our friend help us to keep our body health healthy or we keep him or her uh, to keep her body healthy. Uh, here we see that we could have a quite healthy lifestyle uh, or the couple could have a quite healthy lifestyle, especially on the food uh, here uh, that we see this. Uh, there's a deep connection here with the combination of these cards here. Um, also, it's a, an important mark in this relationship. We literally make this a mark um, or this person could mean a mark on our territory here. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this combination. Um, anyway, there's this is a relationship of the supporting nature. Uh, that's what we are seeing here. This is lasting because the true la lasts. It grows more. We get deeper connected. Um, it's possible in a way also that uh, maybe we get in connection with this lover through our brothers, two colleagues, two friends, or maybe this person was a colleague, a friend, or is related to a brother or sister of us. This is what we are seeing here with this combination. There could be uh, intertwined connections with the family here. This is what with your family and their family or something in this sense. Uh, this is what we are seeing here. For some people here, this points that they really could find their soulmate here with this uh, combination. It's possible that one of both partners is also uh, professionally uh, connected to a medical professor or he is a helper or they are in, uh, in uh, holistic uh, professions. They help people uh, in a spiritual way. They help people um, 
with the natural way. Maybe they uh, are natural healers. They work with herbs. This is what we are uh, seeing here. Uh, but here we see we reach out to others also for helping them and also uh, the partner. There's a consistency or a, po a positive consistency and fire here in the relationship here uh, that we are seeing here. Possibly also we are deeply in love or we are deeply infatuated here. This is what we are uh, seeing here. We respect each other. There's trust here in each other. It's possible also that uh, when this rela relationship started out, you didn't share this with uh, anybody body uh, in the beginning, but as time comes and you get more trust here, we see um, that people, your friends, your colleagues here, uh, they are uh, sure or maybe they know that you are actually a very good couple to them together here. This is what we are seeing, but it's possible in the beginning here that you keep this a little bit uh, secret. Anyway, it's possible that one of both uh, follows the other. Uh, this is what we are uh, seeing here with uh, this combination. There's a, a kind of, the partners want to please each other here, uh, not only in the physical or the emotional front, but also in the sexual front here. There's a, there's a kind of, um, stimulation here towards each other. We want to please each other also on the sexual front. Maybe for some things in the relationship, we actually ask approval, or uh, if we are in the first step of this relationship, it's possible that we are a little bit the old fashioned way and we ask approval for engagement. Uh, still, uh, this is exist in certain areas. And, um, or maybe the woman, she approaches you in a, in a, in a different way, in another way, because this is ruled by Aquarius. And it could mean instead that you that you ask the woman, the woman asks you for going an engagement. This is possible also because the dog is ruled by Uranus and sometimes Uranus has diff uh, different points of view here in relationship here. He can be very advanced in time here or he sees things, he or she sees things in a different way. Anyway, uh, we support each other health as uh, health here. We already saw this uh, already here. Uh, with this uh, combination. It's also possible that one of both is literally a doctor or a nurse uh, professionally, uh, but that of course this will not uh, apply on everybody or uh, they are um, they are connected in in uh, in a way some uh, maybe to justice because the ring is balanced. It could also be to justice or they need to make certain decisions in their profession. Then we have the tree and the ring. Here we see that this relationship is uh, strong. Uh, it's growing. There's a vitality here in this relationship. Uh, we want the root the. The tree has very strong roots and the ring, it wants to connect. So here we see a very a cohesive relationship here. This, these two hang together here, they stick together and they grow deeper as they go here. Um, here, uh, if there would be a problem here, these people, if they get problems, they sometimes come closer together here. This is what we are uh, seeing with this uh, relationship. It's possible that one of both partners, as I mentioned earlier, that uh, has an on, on, uh, like the approach is not like common. They have a common, they don't have a common uh, connection with each other. It could be a little bit out of the normal here uh, with this combination, but it doesn't mean they are not close because they are uh, here. This uh, one, but there's a difference here that we could see here. There's a strong uh, karmic band here also. And if these people are engaged, this could also literally mean the next step they go uh, and or they choose to go in a uh, in a constant relationship or even a marriage here. This is what we are seeing here. There's a, a physical link here between the two partners. There's also very uh, strong um, physical cohesion here between the two partners. Um, anyway, we thrive here with this combination. We thrive. We want to grow with our partner here. Uh, we want this, this connection is deep. Um, it will also not be easily broken. If you would have some argument in the relationship, uh, of course, in all relationship, there is uh, sometimes uh, uh, an issue. But here, uh, if we have issues, even if the issues are very serious, we are not easy here to lose the connection. We are very strongly connected. Then we are gonna mirror the cards. We're gonna mirror the dog and the ring. We're gonna mirror them here now. And here we see again, this, this, the, this relationship is very solid here. Um, 
there's friendly interactions, even if you would marry or if you are married to this partner, you see there's a lot of friendly interaction here. There is friendship. There's not only a lover. There's also friend here. Uh, this could uh, long term contracts. You could feel very solid, stable in this relationship. And maybe also there is freedom uh, in this relationship here. Uh, the partners give a lot, uh, give freedom for Aquarius. Sometimes freedom is very important in the relationship. He or she wants to feel connected, but also um, the freedom is very important. Um, freedom is ruled uh, by Aquarius, that there is a freedom here. And, and uh, uh, um, Libra here also, she wants a certain freedom. So this relationship could be very closely connected, but in a way, there's a certain freedom here that we see here. For uh, Aquarius, this could be uh, very important here that this is, especially we're in the air group also, and it's very, the relationship is not only physical, but also mind-like here. This is what we are seeing here also. Probably our friends, our circle of friends are very important to us. It's possible that we operate in certain fellowship, certain groups, uh, mutual groups. Maybe we met there. This is possible also, and we are connected here through that. Anyway, Aquarius, for the air group, this is all for your short love card reading. I hope you get a little bit wiser out of this um, uh, triplet, this love card reading. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. If this card reading don't fit you at all, check out the other three card readings that are directly connected to it. I'm sure one of the four will fit you. Anyway, if you want a more extensive explanation of your love life uh, and your life in general, just check out the extensive card reading that I do each month in depth for the sign of Aquarius. Anyway, I want to thank you for your time and I'm sure we see each other in my extensive videos. Thank you and bye bye for now. Hello Aquarius and welcome to the Stone or the Earth group for your short love card reading for the month of December. As you see, normally this is a triplet, but I uh, take, I had one of the both partners here out. So I put both them because we do a general card reading here. So this applies or man and woman. So I will uh, uh, try to be as general as I can and in detail as much as I can. The first ring, here, the first card here we see is the ring uh, combined with the person here. This points to our lover or our partner to be or the partner that we wish to be with. Um, in a way, this could also point that we are business-like or work-like connected. This is what we are seeing here with this combination. We could be uh, connected through some obligations, work obligations. Uh, this is what we are seeing here and that's where we met each other. Uh, it's possible also that, um, that we are overthinking for taking the next step. But we have the crossroads here. We will see how this work out. Anyway, this points to there's a kind of seriousness in the relationship. This relationship, both people, they want to build a bridge here uh, on the longer run. If they can here, there's a kind of commitment here. There's a bound ship here uh, with these two people. Um, if this is your partner, uh, this could mean there's a very strong cohesion, a cooperation. You build bridges towards each other. Uh, this is what we see here. We cooperate well together as friends here. We depend on each other here. This is what we are seeing here. If we are not yet in the stage of uh, marriage, it could point that we are thinking about taking the next step because the ring mostly is commitments. So here we want to bond more. We want to come close to the to the partner here or more closer here. But also there are business interests together here. This is what we are seeing here. Also this relationship points, especially with the crossroads, there's a need for a certain freedom. If you, even if you were, would be a married couple here, there's a certain, uh, this is ruled by uh, Uranus, sometimes needs freedom in the relationship. And they want to know that they are committed and they are, and they are together, but in a way, they want freedom. There's a freedom also, it's part of the plan. They want their partners to let them free or they let their partners free. It doesn't mean they are not officially married and they are not together, but there's a need for a certain freedom, a different kind of relationship we could see here. Sometimes uh, Aquarius could be, he can be traditional, but also in some ways he can be very advanced in relationship. This is what we are seeing here. Sometimes also it could point that um, here with the ring, the ring build bridges, but also it goes around. So here we see that it's possible that this is an on-off relationship 
we come together, we go together, we let each other free, but then we decide to come together again, and then we cross the bridge again. This is also, there could be a little bit unbalanced. Sometimes this, this ring, uh, the ring is ruled by Venus. And sometimes Venus, uh, if she's not yet committed, she has a hard time to decide. This is what we are seeing here. But it's uh, here we see also that we have certain ideas, certain principles, certain values here that uh, are the same. We have, uh, in a way, the same honors, the same moralities, or we have the same job, or we work at the same place. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination. Um, if I uh, sometimes this points also that um, if the relationship would come in the next stage, this can sometimes points literally to our birthday, that the relationship goes in the next stage around our birthday. This is what we are seeing here. Maybe we are thinking about it, which, which road we, go, we want to go, but it doesn't mean we can already stick together with certain boundaries. This is what we are seeing here. We want to... Um, we want to keep our promises here, our commitments here with each other. Also, it points that probably both partners have a lot of con uh, connections, uh, friendly connections, work connections. They are connected through work and these connections lead back to each other. This is what we are seeing here with this uh, combination. Um, anyway, um, here we see that uh, this could uh, be something on the long run. If we decide to go in it, it could work out. But then we have the crossroads here. Here we see that the person, as I said, the crossroads, we are on the split. And then here the split, one split leads to the bridge and the other one leads somewhere else. So here we need to decide, do we take the bridge and or go back or we go around and then we come back. So it's like going and coming here. There's like an indecisiveness here or there's a freedom required here. We need to be able to make our own choices in this relationship. It's very important for us here that we are uh, able to make certain choices. Uh, this person could, um, in another way, this could be that this person arrives from another place. Um, sometimes uh, this points also that uh, somebody arrives in a certain country or from a certain city, and he suddenly comes in our life. He comes from another place. This is what we are seeing here, or he comes back because the ring, as I said, it returns and it crosses the bridge. Here uh, we see here uh, with this combination, there are many options here that we, that we have here. Maybe we can make a lot of choices. Maybe we need to make choices about a partner. Maybe we made choices in the past about the partners. Here it's like we are hesitant, indecisive in two minds, but still we want to be together. It's a little bit a difficult combination here that we have here, but there are possibilities. It's not that there are no possibilities. The only thing is here, there's a deliberation going on here. We speculate, we think yes, no, yes, no. This is what we are seeing here. Uh, it's possible also that we change our mind. One day we think, yeah, we gonna do, gonna go for it. And the next day then the couple decides, oh no, we're gonna go in another direction. So there's like many possibilities here. And sometimes it's a little bit confusing. Then we have the ring and the crossroads here. Uh, we're gonna mirror the cards here towards each other. Um, here, this can be then again, as I said, this could be the beginning of the relationship here. Uh, this is a new partner. This partner arrives and it comes in our life. This could lead to a long relationship here, maybe before we break up and we come back together. Maybe we broke up because of one of both partners had several relationships going on. We were aware of that. And um, maybe there are some changes now, or we accept that multiple uh, gener um, multiple uh, relationships are going on and we share in the idea that uh, multiple uh, relationships are going on. Not everybody has the same point of view. So this is possible also that we um, share multiple ideas or we share each other. This is what we are seeing here. In a way, there's a kind of sharing here, universality. The um, Aquarius is universal. So here, we see the idea of universal ideas that are shared, universal relationships that are shared. This is what we are seeing here. As I said, Aquarius can sometimes be very advanced in the ideas, but also uh, conservative. There, the, this is like alternatives here that we are seeing here uh, with this uh, combination. There's a difference here, different than others. Um, here we see also that um, if we need to make certain decisions, probably we delay them. We delay. 
we delay. This is what we see here also, but the bridge is there. The bridge is open, we can cross, but it's like we don't want, we want to be absolutely sure, especially with the stone group here, these, this, this group will want to make decisive decisions, uh, decisions that work on the long run, but maybe we cannot for certain reasons or it's not possible, or we accept the situation and for us it's stable enough like it is. So Aquarius, for this, um, for your love card reading for the month of December, I hope you get a little bit wiser out of it, but these are, this is an indecisive card, so it's a little bit troubling. Um, if you want more information about your love life and about your whole life, just check the nine card reading. You will find a lot of information there for your sign. Um, it's very extensive and in depth, and you will get a lot of information there uh, on my channel and for the videos, especially for the sign of Aquarius. Anyway, I want to thank you for your time, and I'm sure we see see each other in my extensive videos. Thank you for your time and bye bye for now. Hello Aquarius and welcome to the matches or the fire group for your short love card reading for the month of December. This is a triplet a three card reading that we do for your sign. But the first card that we see here is the bear in combination with uh, the ring. This gives a very strong bond, a very strong relationship. We are strongly connected uh, towards each other. Um, it's possible also that we are uh, um, that we our relationship is um, very caring towards each other we are protecting each other this is what we are uh, seeing here uh, sometimes also the bear can be overbearing uh, so over caring um, sometimes also this can point to a uh, domination ship in the relationship and also sometimes also there is a kind of independence here because the bear um, most of uh, the time in his uh, life he lives alone i don't mean here there's a loneliness in the relationship but there's a certain distance here in the relationship, a certain going your own way, but still be connected here in the relationship. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this combination. Anyway, there's a strongness here that keeps these uh, people together. Um, uh, they are uh, strongly uh, connected. Um, and possibly also um, this relationship, we have the sun here, it's part of our identity. The two come together here, they need freedom both parties but also there's a, a kind of um, necessity here to excel this relationship the 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 sun likes to shine it likes that the relationship is successful and it could be that this relationship is successful it's big but in a different way but it doesn't mean here there is no success there is with the sun the sun is an overall very uh, positive card and here we see this relationship we want it to succeed it's important for us uh, the first uh, two cards here it's possible that we are uh, connected through work um, or we have a marriage contract or we are uh, about to go in the next uh, step of our relationship this is what we are uh, seeing here um, there's a stable uh, connection here that we are seeing here, a stable partnership. It's possible that we are contractly through the work connected or we get each other to know there. We appreciate each other maybe through the partners, his leadership abilities because the bear sometimes also, it's the manager, the manager or our boss. And we see, we get admiration for um, this partner, he or she, uh, she's in a leading or in a management function. And we like the way that this person operates. We like that the way that this person does the job. We want this to become more stable. Um, also, we want trust in this relationship. We want to be bound. Uh, maybe on the longer run here, we want a commitment here. Uh, maybe we see this person as a, a good father or a mother uh, for our uh, for our future, for our children. We see that this person has a lot of abilities, teaching abilities, uh, parental abilities. This is what we are seeing here. There's a kind of liaison here between the two partners here. We hold on uh, onto each other sometimes with teeth and claw here with uh, both uh, with this combination here. Uh, it's possible that one of the both partners, uh, they want to be free but also they insist 
on a formal or a legal kind of commitment. This is what we see here also. They are free, but in other ways, they want to be commitment in another way. Maybe business-like, the commitment is uh, business-like separated, or it's um, very lined out. What is business and what is, um, what is the relationship? It doesn't mean there are not com uh, common funds, because there are. This, the, the ring makes bridges. So there are also common funds here. This is what we are seeing here. We also want to shine uh, together here. This is what we are seeing here. Then we have uh, the ring and the sun here. There's happiness in this relationship. We want to shine in this relationship. This relationship bears fruit. It's positive. Um, it's important. Others see us also as a good couple here. Uh, we are welcome as we go somewhere uh, as a couple. We are uh, maybe... Um, they see us as a power couple because sometimes this points to a power couple here. Uh, the, the, there is a success here in the relationship here that we are seeing here. The, there is a mutual beneficency here in the relationship here. Um, if you are not yet committed, uh, the sun sometimes points that the final commitments could be made during summertime in the area where you live because the sun is the summer here. This is what we are seeing here with this. But anyway, this points to uh, good partnerships here. There are shared joys here. This is a joyful uh, combination, uh, combination that we are seeing here. We do also happy things together. Even though we are free, we do happy things together here. Uh, we promise happiness together. Other people say, finally, it's like this. You finally connected here. This is what we see here also. So others find that we belong together. Then we have uh, the bear and the sun. We're going to mirror the cards here towards each other. Uh, also financially, the bear is big and the sun is success. So you can see here if we have a cooperation or we work together with the partner, this could also be very be beneficial on the financial uh, front here. We see success here um, in many, uh, not only in the relationship, it's important, but also financially, we want uh, to stabilize ourselves. We want to be stable on the long run here. We want to support each other. Uh, this is what we see here uh, with each other. It's possible that one po partner is more dominant than the other because the bear is the, uh, is the, is the manager. But the sun also, if this is the other partner, the other partner also wants to shine. So if the other one is overbearing, it could give some individuality problems here. This is what we are seeing here with this combination. So there will be need, a need for a certain let go or I'm going my own way also here with this combination. If there are certain conflicts, maybe these conflicts are that there is not enough individuality possible in the relationship. Maybe it's a little bit too dominant or both want to see that they also have their personality here in this relationship. So Aquarius, for the water group, this uh, sorry, for the fire group, this is all for this month. I hope you get a little bit wiser out of this short triplet, uh, this uh, love card reading. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Um, if this card reading don't fit you at all, check out the other three card readings that are directly connected here. Uh, if you want more information about your whole life, about your love life, your contracts, your agreements, your work, please check out the extensive card readings that I do each month for the sign of Aquarius, they are very much in depth and also with four groups. Anyway, I want to thank you for your time. And I'm sure if you are interested, we see each other in my extensive videos. Thank you and bye bye for now.